Going guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. Remember, turn the subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen. It's always been heartbreaking to me on how people treat other people with a lot of the cruelty that they do. And it's uh, undeserving, especially from people we rear from our own loins. Today I want to talk about a story I covered when it first came out, I think it was like a little bit last month. And uh, it was about this woman here. You'll remember this picture, so I'll put this one up. I'll put another picture over here real quick to show what she looks like. This woman's name is Natavia Ragsdale from Manhattan, New York. Shout out Money Making Manhattan. And uh, she's 26 years old. She's a mother of four children. When one of them, pictured here, starved to death. Little boy, God bless him, his name is Jamik Moten. He was four years old. Starved to death in his own house. Now, this woman has recently went to court. Her and her uh, boyfriend, the kid's father of all four children, his name is uh, John Modlin. He's 25 years old. And uh, it's a shame you had both parents in the house. And all these children befall such atrocities where one of them lost his life and died gruesomely. I want you to take a look at this and we're going to come back and talk about it. Natavia Ragsdale could not hold her head up at times in court. She now faces new charges, including murder in the second degree, in connection to the death of her four-year-old son, Jameek Modlin. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg was also in court, as prosecutors outlined how the toddler died in unimaginable conditions. DA Bragg, any reaction to the charges being upgraded against this mother? Who's here to support our, our team and uh, the circumstances here are quite tragic and will continue to litigate in court. Last month, police arrested Ragsdale and the father of the children, Laron Modlin, in a case that rocked their Harlem neighborhood and the city. The death of the toddler and allegations of abuse of the couple's three other young children are raising questions about what went wrong, whether or not the Administration for Children's Services dropped the ball. In court, prosecutors upgrading the charges described horrid conditions the children were allegedly living in, locked in a room covered with feces on the wall, the children were not in school, had not seen a doctor in two years. Little Jameek suffered from malnutrition, dehydration, and starvation. At the time of his death, he had almost no body fat, and prosecutors say his body went into survival mode before shutting down. Ragsdale sat still and stoic in court, hearing how her other children are still in a hospital, doing better, but are having a hard time with fine motor skills, unable to to feed themselves at ages five, six, and seven. In that courtroom, the homicide of a four-year-old, and I just left another courtroom of domestic violence homicide. That's where my focus is. Thank you. Ragsdale will remain behind bars until her next court date. That's set for December 18th. And with these new upgraded charges, if convicted, she could face anywhere from 25 years to life in prison. In Lower Manhattan, Nicole Johnson. Pix 11 News. Guys, make no mistake, this is a horrifically sad crime. And what's even worse is some of these details that was written in the article by the New York Post that I'm going to share with you guys today that uh, really show about how intense, lazy, and trifling these people was. And it reads as follows. New York City mom accused of starving her four-year-old son to death, hit with murder charge. The Manhattan mom accused of starving her four-year-old son to death was indicted on murder charges Wednesday, which was yesterday. As prosecutors said, her three surviving children are slowly recovering. Natavia Ragsdale, 26, pled not guilty to murder in the second degree at her Manhattan Supreme Court arraignment for allegedly killing Tiny Jamik Modlin, Modlin, who prosecutors said weighed just 19 pounds when he died on October 14th. Ragsdale sta sta starved Jamik and his siblings, ages five, six, and seven, for two years. And the other kids were so malnourished, when authorities found them, they could not feed themselves or handle utensils. Manhattan Assistant DA Heather Buchanan said in court, Since admission to the hospital, each child has gained more weight in the past two weeks 
than they have in the past two years. Buchanan said, noting the surviving kids are still on a liquids only diet. Ragsdale, who was charged along with Jamique's father, Laron Modlin, 25, shed a single tear as prosecutors described the heartless couple's Harlem apartment, where they were where they were purposely turned, where they purposely turned a refrigerator stuffed with fresh produce against the wall so the kids weren't able to open it up. The cruel pair sealed kitchen cabinets containing food with zip ties except for the one containing cleaning supplies, all while stuffing their faces on a regular and daily basis as they starved their children, prosecutors alleged. Both Ragsdale and Modlin were also receiving medical care on a routine basis despite their children only their children's only last visit to the doctor on August 2022. Little John Meek slipped in into unconsciousness at the apartment off of Clifton Powell Drive, Clifton Powell Jr. Boulevard, near West 144th Street on October 13th. Died in the next morning at the hospital due to malnutrition, dehydration, and starvation, authorities have said. Medical staff at Harlem Hospital also found a burn mark on the child's chest and added that he suffered from hypothermia, police sources say. His parents claimed they never denied John Meek and or his siblings foods despite the boy weighing only 19 pounds when he died. 80 pounds less than his mother's believed, 80, 80 pounds less than his mother believed, according to a criminal complaint. None of the kids have been vaccinated or attended school, prosecutors have said. Judge Ann Thompson remanded Ragsdale who initially faced a manslaughter rap to Rikers Island after prosecutors had asked her, asked for her $100,000 cash bond to be revoked due to upgraded charges. The death of Jamik Modlin, an innocent four-year-old child, is a tragedy that has scarred this city. That he died a slow and painful death, starving outside his, alongside his older siblings, somehow isolated in the heart of Harlem is a stain on our collective consciousness. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg said in a statement, Ragsdale also faces, new, faces a new assault charge. She faces up to life in prison if convicted of the murder in the second degree. Modlin will be arraigned on November 14th. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, how fucked up is that? Don't you think about that? How fucked up is that? These people treated these kids like they were pets that they didn't want. Said they were locked in a room with feces covered walls. Said when the police came and found them, you know what I'm saying? They couldn't even uh, feed themselves or handle utensils. Said they ain't been to school in two years. Now it said last time they was, uh, I got the article up here. Last time they was ever seen by a doctor was two years ago. And uh, what, what, what month was that in 2022? What month was it? August of 2022. So somewhere between that and all the way up until now or last month, something happened where they felt as though they wasn't going to uh, care for these kids no more. They starved them for two years. These children was in horrid conditions. Said the apartment was trifling. Don't you think about that? Two people, two grown-ups, living together, four children. The children don't eat, but they do. Said so the little boy had hypothermia. At a young age like that, said his body went into survival mode at the end of his days. Before and after he was at the hospital, meaning his organs started to dissolve because he was eating himself from the inside out. And that's the thing about starvation. It's painful. After a while, especially in children, you get so weak you can't cry no more. Your body's undergoing survival mode and stuff. Said he had very little body fat. He was eating himself. His body was eating itself. Can you imagine that pain, that anguish? In a room... With four other children, ages seven, six, and five years old. They said they still on a liquid diet right now. Gained two uh, uh, more uh, weight 
in the past two weeks, the first two weeks of being in the hospital, than the last two years. I don't know how anybody can stomach or, or be okay after they come into a place and rescue four starving babies and one of them die. A lot of people have kids these they, they age these children or remember their children when they're at these children's ages and to see them looking like skeletons while these two motherfuckers are sitting around here looking like uh, well-fed people and then got their heads hung down in shame after they caught when they the act they did was shameful from the jump ain't feeling it ain't feeling it jail time is not the right punishment in my eye. they starved a baby to death their baby they starved it it's foul. That's foul. That's a different kind of evil. It is. And it's hurtful. They could have gave them babies up to somebody else that they could have developed them and they could have lived long, fruitful lives. But no, they wasn't worrying about that. It's like they know how to, you, you know how to fuck. Know how to kick a baby out. Know how to do all of that, but don't know how to nurture, don't know how to build and don't know how to uh, cherish. No sense of responsibility. You know what I'm saying? She gonna plead not guilty. So what, the baby just starved on his own? Oh, well, I didn't starve on it. Why, the fridge was turned to the wall because they was too weak to open it. Probably couldn't even walk. This is sickening. Sickening. And you know what? I'm keeping it fucking real. I put this all on the man. Why? He the leader of the household. He the leader of the household. And you allowed this. How can y'all sit in that room Knowing it's a shit-covered room near your room and eat your food and enjoy yourselves, laugh, joke, and kiki in the fucking room while you got starving babies in another place that's in there forced to eat shit and scratch on the walls like fucking animals because they can't fucking get nothing to eat. I'm fucking done. Yo, I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm telling you, they need to change some of these laws. They should not be sitting in court right now. They should be turned into mulch. And I'm dead fucking serious. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. This is the most trifling shit I've ever heard.